What's happening, friends? Bobby Spellman here for a fast-paced musical tech support episode covering how to set up Zoom for music lessons. Now, you may be preparing for a music lesson over Zoom, or you might be in one right now trying to figure out how to configure Zoom so that you can hear what's going on. So we're gonna dive into it as quickly as possible and try to cover everything as quickly as we can. Uh, so first of all, Zoom is a great app for music lessons and it's the app that we use here at the Ridgewood School of Music. But Zoom was originally designed for business meetings and things of that nature. And for that reason, they cleverly designed the audio so that it would suppress noise, uh, unnecessary background noise during meetings. However, in music lessons, we want as much noise as we can get. We don't want that no background noise suppression. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that off. We're gonna do it on a computer and then an iPad and then an iPhone. So if you wanna flip to whatever uh, device you need, it should be clear with the cards that I'm going to put in this video. So without further ado, let's dive in to the computer. This is the easiest one that we have to do. And it goes like this. Down here in the corner, we see bottom left corner, the audio button with the microphone. We're gonna hit the up arrow there, and that will bring us to this drop bar. We're gonna go to audio settings, which is the bottom of the drop bar, and then from here, we're gonna go down in audio settings and uncheck automatically adjust microphone volume. That's the thing that's gonna mess you up if you're trying to play music into Zoom. Now, as we go down here, you see audio profile, and we are going to turn on original sound for musicians. Once that is on, you do not need high fidelity music mode, but you should have echo cancellation checked. And you can also uncheck stereo audio unless that is something that you need. Now, at this point, you will close out of the audio settings with the original sound for musicians checked, automatically adjust microphone volume unchecked, and echo cancellation checked. And you may think you're done, but you're not done. There's still one more thing that you need to do. So if you found that this is not working, here's what you need to do is go up in the top right corner, and you will see original sound for musicians off. Click on that, that will turn it on. You will see original sound for musicians is on. Noise suppression is disabled. And you should be able to carry on with your music lesson, being able to hear your teacher while your teacher hears you. All right, now let's move on to the iPad. All right, if you are on a meeting on the iPad, you are going to have to go out of the meeting by pushing on this arrow up here which will take you back to the main screen. From here, you will have to click on the ellipses over here that say more down at the bottom. That will bring you to this screen and here you can see a number of settings and here are the audio settings. We have to click on that. That will bring you to this section here where you will see original sound. Now it's checked on auto noise suppression. You gotta click on original sound and then return to the meeting. Now, once we're back in the meeting, once again, we're not done yet. You have to come down here on the bottom of the screen. You might have to touch it, go to the more section. That will bring up this scroll bar and then you click on enable original sound. And then you will be prepared for your meeting on the iPad. All right, so you gotta do those two moves. You gotta set it up in the main setting and then you have to uh, fix it in the main screen. Now we're gonna go on to the phone. Here we go. All right, here we have Zoom on the iPhone. Just like with the iPad, you're going to have to leave the meeting uh, page in order to go to the settings page. Now, let's move this oriented so that you can see what's going on here down in the bottom corner. We have another ellipses that says more. You gotta click on that. That will bring you to this settings and you're gonna wanna click on the audio settings in the more section. That will bring you to this page. Right now, auto noise suppression is checked. You want that original sound. We're going to check original sound. Now once again, let's see if we can check it here. Once that is checked, the problem is not solved. Now we have to go back to the meeting once again and once we're there, we're gonna turn this sideways so we can see it. We have to move over here all the way to the right to find the ellipses that say more. Click on that. That will bring you to this little section here. And we wanna click on enable original sound. 
All right, gang, and there you go. That's how you set up your computer, iPhone, and iPad for music lessons over Zoom. Hope that was helpful. Uh, if you're looking for music lessons, you can find us on our website, et cetera, et cetera. And we'll catch you in the next one. Have a wonderful time with your music lessons. See ya. Theory with Bob. Maybe Zoom can figure out background noise suppression for the cat exclusively. He's screaming during these things. Uh.